So we're all absolutely buzzing off modelers. The only problem is I've got a Neural DSP, I've got an Ambrini, I've got a um, Brainworks, I've got Tonex, I've got my Laney IRT. I've just got so many plugins, I, but I want them all in one place. If only there was a product that would let me do that. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Yo guys and dolls, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, if you're old school, you know what we're about by now. Um, everyone and their Mars are talking about plugins. They have arrived. Everything now is about as good as it's ever going to be. Obviously, they're going to get better, but it's as close as real, if not real. It can't get better than real unless it's a new thing. But digital has arrived, um, and I love me my I love me some plugins. Um, so I've been playing around with Nambrini plugins now forever. Um, I, the MP uh, the ADA MP One Pro is amazing. I've recently just got on to the EN Hardball, which again is amazing. Um, but the beautiful guys over at Nambrini said, Paul, Paul, why don't you check out the Nexus? And I was like, what is the Nexus? Don't ask what the Nexus is, maybe, you know, I don't know. Is it like the Matrix? I don't know. But anyway, we got, it's the best thing ever. The Nexus is the best thing ever. The Nexus is exactly what we've all wanted from the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this round and I'm going to introduce you guys to the Nexus because it is going to revolutionize how we all use our plugins. Let's do that now. So here we are in the Nexus. So as you can see, Jesus Christ. So as you can see, um, we have a selection of nodes or plugins. So what we can do is we can open up the Nexus we can go into our add plugins and we can add plugins from any one of our plugin providers. IK Multimedia, we can pl pull in loads of Amplitubes, we can pull in anything that I've got from Nambrini, which is what I've got there, it's what I currently own. Um, anything from Neural DSP is what I've got there, what I currently own. Um, Except my Soldano, weirdly, my Soldano plugin isn't there, but I do have that. Hmm, that's interesting. I need to get to the bottom of that. Anyway, so that 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 works, and then Plugin Alliance, which I've got a million, a million and eight things. Um, so what you do is you just go in, um, you grab what you want, and you drop it into the timeline, or you drop it into the Nexus. So now I've I've loaded in all the things I want in my Nexus. So I've got a little tube screamer. 808 and it's set up the way I would have it in my in my real world so it normally be around there um, and I'll see what that sounds I can turn that on and off and then from there I come out and I come into an instance of Tonex of which I am running the new signature Mesa stuff which sounds really, really good, really, really good. So I've got this running toolkit, which is a high gain, triple rectifier kind of tone. So that's running down stereo into the Tonex. The Tonex is then running into this little analog rack chorus, and that is running straight out to the output, which is boss. Then from the 808, I can go down into the Pliny, and I can go up into the hardtail, which are currently turned off. So I can turn them back on and I can just give them a little click. So here, here's my EN hardtail. That's how I've got it set up currently. And um, we want to have a little look at the IRs and what speaker caps I'm using. That's how it's, it is. So it's a bit, pretty much as standard, just for the purpose of this demonstration, really. So that then runs into the analog noise gate and then my noise gate comes out stereo runs into and the noise gate is just an ambrini one which is great that runs into my analog rack delay which is this and that's currently running 606 milliseconds on one side then it runs into another one which is running to a five ish 
again just for the purpose of this demonstration and they then run left and right or vice versa into the nexus so now let's have a little listen to what that sounds like so i'm just rocking my um my Abinus rg staple and let's have a little listen to what that will sound like pretty fat so I could do whatever I wanted to do with that but but that that's all there so if we just start with the 808 if I open that up again what I can do now is I can just turn that off Turn off, whatever. Monstrous. Then I've got the end hardball of which I've got ultimate control of this as well so if I fancy just to drop that out I could <laughs> that in my mix just enough then I come down to my archetype plenty and this is running um, the, uh, the the high gain amp and they're the settings I'm using um, and that sounds monstrous by itself <laughs> Tonex doing the whole other side of that with the Mesa. <sighs> I could do whatever I wanted and then that runs into those racks as it did into the thing and then my output runs out to the output. It's mental, absolutely mental. So I can double tap on the app or I can I can just play through it. Now what I could do is I could turn all of those off as simply as just clicking on them. So that's just basically my DI sound. Now, if I unplug the N and the archetype, and I just turn the tone X back on, That's what the tonic sounds like by itself. Then if I connect the plin, <laughs> out of all the people to shorten Pliny, I've just done it. Right, so now I've just got the Pliny connected. <laughs> Okay, and then I 
and you pull a hard ball into the mix. And by itself, with just its own X. And then bring that plenty back in. Monstrous tone, just turn those delays off. still a little bit of delay coming from the Pliny which is hitting the noise gate which I could maybe put the, put the Pliny after the noise gate if I wanted to but it would be as easy as moving the node and reassigning the outputs oh, it's ridiculous but it's so good and that's only the beginning if I had different reverbs and different um, different preamp pedals Whatever I wanted to do, I could add that into the mix and just make it happen. Then all I have to do is come up to this icon, save it as a patch, and I've got then my Mega Nexus, which is everything I need, and that loads into the door. So every time I need this, I just load this instance in and I've got my tone with my plugins. And I turn them off and turn them on again. It's simple as that, create different presets. This is also... And this is the killer app. The killer app. Nambrini, um, their audio, their, their, their plugins are not standalone. You need a door for them. And that's the majority, especially with reverbs and things like that. They tend to be door specific. This is a standalone item as well. So I have that sound as a standalone unit. And I just play. And I've got that, that absolute tremendous tone. Gotta agree, that sounds absolutely monstrously badass. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Move in and round a once. Um, absolutely amazing. Reminds me of if you guys can ever remember the mod duo. The mod duo was a very similar situation to this, and I think that's where they've kind of got the idea from. Or maybe they haven't. I don't know. Wherever, but wherever it is. They've solved the problem that we've all been having. So please, please, guys, head on over to Nambrini Audio and grab this. I think it's about $30, $40. Even if it was $100, it is so worth it because you can put all of your shit in one bag, which is what we're after doing. Anyway, guys, that's the Nambrini, the Nexus. Um, I, I think you should check it out as soon as possible because it is bloody brilliant and it solved a massive problem that I've got with my plugins that they are all in different places all the time I can now load them all in and I can have them all running as you can hear in tandem without arming a shitload of tracks and stuff it's absolutely no brainer it's amazing this is what this is what has been turning me off using plugins a lot more now I've got it all all available so good 
Okay, guys, please go and check that stuff out. Um, we're going to have a, a review or playthrough of the um, the Engel Hardball um, at some point. Um, I don't think I, I need to go through the archetypes. Everyone in the world has gone through them, but they are very good, definitely worth a check out. Um, and if I do manage to get a hold of them, I might do a run through them all. Uh, but they're definitely worth checking out. The Nexus, man. Holy shit, thank you so much, Nambrini. You've won game. Very cool. All right, guys, take it easy, and I will see you all in the next one. Have fun.